Hello folks, Agent Artworks here and today we are covering a phenomenal experience when I was straight up five years old in 1980, obviously from kindergarten in the picture, and we got to roll about no more than 300 meters on a field trip to Del Taco, which is a proven fact is superior to Taco Bell. And the reason why I'm saying that is because not only were these low-level employees at the time very sincere in bringing us, but I'm sure the corporate higher-ups had something to do with uh, putting it in the back of our head uh, for us to go to Del Taco when we were old enough to uh, drive to Del Taco as, again, it is much more superior than Taco Bell if you look it up on the uh, computer webs there. All right, so what we have here... Yeah, again, 1980, and I'm there with uh, Miss Nice, we'll, we'll call her, the, uh, the kindergarten teacher. Very attractive as, uh, as yeah, a good, good portion of uh, female uh, kindergarten teachers are in their, uh, in their 20s and 30s, right? And beyond. So, yeah, we got to roll across to Del Taco and... I straight up specifically remember we got to go in the back of the kitchen. We got to go in the kitchen to see the process of them making food, which I couldn't even imagine today how many people would have a panic mode about because of child endangerment and OSHA laws and uh, um, health hazards and all this stuff. But we're a bunch of kids and we just simply listened to the teacher that said, don't touch anything unless... Uh, you know, Miss Stacy or Mr. Jeff will call the Del Taco employees unless they say so. Um, and we, and yeah, we got to put sprinkle sugar and cinnamon on those, uh, on these cinnamon crisps uh, that we, you know, got to keep and, and eat as a, uh, as a treat before we left. And uh, yeah, I think we probably ate them before we left. So forgive me if this picture is inaccurate because a little spiky hair Billy at the end is still rolling with his unauthorized cinnamon treat that left the establishment. In any case, yeah, we sure as heck didn't touch the fryer, but yeah, it was at least like 10 of us in the back of the kitchen, didn't touch nothing except the, uh, the, the sugar and cinnamon that they, uh, that they gave to us to sprinkle on the uh, cinnamon crisps, I guess, after they came out the fryer. I'm not a cinnamon crisp frying expert, so I don't know the exact protocol of of the cinnamon and sugar went on before or after. Any case, um, yeah, it was it was it was uh, uh, not busy, right? Inside the establishment again. I'm five, and this is like 1980. Um, you know, maybe there's like two or three people because I know it was in the morning. This is like 9 a.m. or something. And um, yeah, you know, the the funny thing is is um, I don't know if, if, if they presented the certificates of appreciation to us before we left or, or if uh, the manager came by and gave them to us. But yeah, this isn't, uh, yeah, this would be the equivalent of like everybody gets a trophy, but we weren't in a competition. Just Taco Bell appreciated us being over there and as future patrons. So I, and I had the certificate of appreciation. Mom had it for years and I really wish I still had it. And if we could find it, I will definitely upload it. But it says Del Taco with my name on it, with the, with the Del Taco old school sun, which should probably be yellow as opposed to blue, as it shows in the background. In any case, I got the colors correct. So, yeah, that's it for that portion. It was a blast. It was one of my earliest memories ever. Um... So let's get into the picture here. Yeah, you got uh, Miss uh, Stacy and Mr. Jeff, again, making these names up. The heck if I remember their names. Sure, they're nice people, right? And then, yeah, that's all of us uh, on our field trip, about no more than 300 yards away from this popping shopping center that had the Skateway, Swanson's ice cream, and all this other cool stuff in it. And we're just we're walking across the street. And, uh, and yeah, that's little Billy there with the unauthorized uh, cinnamon crisp in his hand. And of course, I added the, uh, the short portly kid that probably ate all of our other cinnamon crisps. So I don't know why the hell we're smiling. But, um, but yeah, it was a blast the best I could remember. In fact, not even just that. It was a blast. 
Yeah, hands down. All right. Well, hey, folks, thanks so much for walking, watching. I have a substantial amount of other stories for my series called here called Before the Internet, How Things Were Before the Internet. Please subscribe. And thanks again. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.